Hi friends, it's Josh and welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher 2. Today's episode, we are going to set up the cave. What we're going to do is go out and collect some more plorts for today and we are going to set that cave area up so that we can set up our phosphor slimes that we collected on night one. I want to combine the phosphor with our ringtail slime to see how much money we're going to be able to achieve uh, through setting that up. So we're going to head on into the ranch. We're going to collect some plorts, just some random plorts so that we can get a little bit of money so that we can go ahead and set up that area. So I'm going to collect some carrots because we can go around and we can feed some of the wild slimes out in the area. Uh, so uh, that's pink. Feed. No, 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 we could have screwed that up really, really badly <laughs> because then it would have turned into a pink one. Okay, we'll collect that one, so that one, that one, that one. I need cotton. Um, how is this going to work? Because I don't know if we're going to be able to, unless, of course, there are just going to be a whole bunch of random plots just floating around. Yes, good, good. That's what I was hoping for. Because it's kind of difficult with the inventory management system. We only have four inventory slots, so we're a little bit limited by what we can do. Um, there's another one. Let's grab that one there. Cool. Um, let's see if there are any others floating around in different areas that we'll be able to collect. Another one over here. Let's grab that one. That's eight. That's nine. Perfect. Anything down here? These guys have only just spawned in, so I don't think we're going to find anything over here. Um, I'll quickly just pop back and see how much money that'll get us. Here we go, moment of truth. Nope, oh, nearly there. Let's see, are we able to feed these guys anything at all? Uh, we, we, we probably can, but I, I don't really want to feed them the cube berries. I would ideally like to feed them more of the carrots. So we can probably go and grab a few more carrots and we can just feed all of the guys that we've got back there. Because then it's a little bit more contained. So let's grab some carrots. Let's grab some carrots from... No, not there. Some of the carrot here. There should be some other carrots further out. Now, it looks like these guys are already snacking away at the wild resources, and that's fine. No carrots there. It looks like there are some carrots up there that are still growing, so we can grab them. There we go. All right. So, what we'll do, we will give these carrots to our slimes back in the corral because then we can start to collect well we, we can collect both the pink and the cotton plots because it doesn't really matter we're going to be really really close to our um i don't know what that machine thingy over there is called whatever it is we're going to be really close to it so we can very easily just run back and forth let's put you back in here then back in there we go okay let's collect some of the pinks go pinks first Pink, pink. Uh, any other pinks? Dive into the center. Wee! <laughs> oh my god. So chaos. It's gonna be so chaotic until we end up getting a get like an auto port collector. But once we get one of those, we won't have to jump in every time. Oh, the lab. Have some plorts and new bucks to spare? If so, you'll want to explore the wonders of slime science. Check out the lab underneath the conservatory to begin crafting vac upgrades and gears. The lab underneath the conservatory. So that's where we're going to want to go if we actually want to upgrade our gear. Which we will do. We will do that. We will do that very soon. Um, let's grab this one, this one. Okay. How are we looking? How are we looking? This should be good. This should be good. We're at 1800 now. Fantastic. So we go straight this way. And we should. Because I think it was 1800, wasn't it? Yeah, 1800. Yay! We've upgraded the den! Well, we've upgraded to the den. Okay, cool. So let's go in here. Let's set up a new area. Oh, no. I don't have any money to do this. Oh, no. I forgot that we need money to actually do this. Oh, it's only 250 for that one. And 250 for that one. Okay, that's all right. Well, these guys are now... Well, okay, look. On the right side, at least they can float around in here. And then they won't disappear. I hope. Let's keep him in here for the time being. We need money. You. Okay. That one there. Okay. Uh, what do we do with this? They all fly around. That's fine. Gotta keep them contained somehow. Uh, Phosphor port? 
Are you going to eat it? These guys are difficult to deal with. I really want to see if they're all... Are you going to eat it? There we go. Good. Cool. Sweet. Alright. Let's go Q-berry. Now that it's loving that, it'll spit out a couple of these. We can get a ringtail claw. We can shoot it up towards you. And there should be... We can sell these ones off at least, which is good. The only downside, we don't have the money to do stuff. And as soon as we do, at least we can then set up a corral and then chuck them in there. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. I think they're going to stay here. But hopefully they don't go far. Now let's go back. Let's chuck them in here and see what they're worth. Okay, awesome. So because they're worth 31, we've got enough money now to set up a corral. So that's going to be my most important first thing. Because, of course, we can, we can just go back. We can grab more Q berries. We can go and start feeding them. But without having a corral to put these guys in, there's not really much that we're going to be able to do. So let's go for a corral. How much is high walls? High walls is 260. And I think, more importantly, we were going to get the air net. Because these guys can float. <laughs> so I think that they're just going to end up floating out of this thing. But just for the time being, I will... Okay. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Yeah, he just flies away. Look at that. Wee. Cool. Yeah, we need the air net. We, we definitely need the air net. That's okay. Um, let's go check out the lab for now. These guys are going to stay in there anyway because they're not. They're, they're all contained in a cave. So they're not going to disappear outside of it and then just die randomly. Uh, it just means that there's going to be a bit of chaos happening there for a while, which is fine. What's down here? So how do we access the labs? It's just down this staircase. Head on down this way. The Fabricator. The Fabricator allows you to craft vac upgrades and gadgets using resources in the refinery. Give it a try. Okay. New bucks and cotton plots. I see. Okay. So that is how we upgrade our gear. So we need to collect different resources out on the range. So, the phosphor plots, radiant ore if you want to upgrade to jetpack, tank booster, which I know that we've unlocked but we don't have the money to upgrade anything just yet that's cotton that's pink that's cotton boom phosphor tabby rock angler haven't heard of that one before puddle slimes are a bit of a difficult one because you can't like breed them and they just sit in water and then pulse wave which requires a lot of very special sort of unique resources Oh yeah, I was going to see if it... How do we... Can we do much? Oh, that was my one test. So, in the refinery. I don't know if I can suck anything out of it. So, I'm glad that I just... Yeah, I'm glad that I just chucked one in there. So, we've got a pink plot, I guess, to kick things off. But that's fine. Alright, what next? Alright, so... We've up we've upgraded to a new area. So, we can start to... Con well, we can continue to explore this area out here. And I will go ahead and continue to collect Q berries as well as those little water lettuces. Because this is still growing. It's going to take a little bit of time. But we would like to collect some more some more food for the farming side of things. Um, otherwise, we're not going to be able to get enough money to upgrade our stuff. So, I guess... Grab some fruit. And we're going to head further out into the... I don't know, Rainbow Island, I suppose it's called. It's no longer the far, far range. I've been calling everything the range just to refer to the world as it is. But I guess Rainbow Island is what it's officially called. So we're going to head out. We're going to grab some Q-berries along the way. We're going to collect some other fruits along the way. Thankfully, these guys aren't going to eat those ones. We'll collect these as well. We should try to maintain a mostly okay inventory. Let's go back to this area way out here and continue to explore. So where was it that we ended up finding the Q-berries? Um, I, I saw a few of them just floating around on the ground, so um, that's where we ended up picking up those. But I don't know where the remainder of them were. I thought there were a lot of them around. Okay, so some trees are over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see a few. No, no, pink. No, no, they're mine. Nope, I don't care. Nope, they're mine. I found them first. <laughs> okay, can't get through there, so we won't go that way. We're going to head this way. Looks like there's some tar happening on the ranch as well, so let's try and keep away from that. Now, we better keep our eye out for the little machine that is used to upgrade the map. 
Because if we can find that, we can find out where we're supposed to go a lot more easily. Grab these as well. Few berries are going to be incredibly helpful because they're going to allow us to get double plorts from the phosphors. And it will also allow us to continue to um, upgrade any of the normal phosphors. So, oh, those are normal pogo fruits. I've already maxed out that out. Nope. So ideally, we want as much money as possible so that we can upgrade stuff. Okay, so we can't go that way. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, it's so cute. An angler slime. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, let's keep the angler slime. Oh, wow. Hello. So they eat meat. Makes sense. They do look like the type of fish species that tend more to, to snack on meat. We're going to collect a few of these guys. I'll collect some of the angler ports as well to give us a bit of money. You, you. Hold up. Why do they make weird shiny stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, are there booms over here? Or No, there aren't. That's a phosphor. I'll feed it just generic fruit because... Oh, oh they glow. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, sweet. Let's grab that one there. Oh, the other one. They're like the same color, so it's so hard to tell. Um, okay, so you, you, the way that you can tell is that if you look at it, you can see that it also has a little stick of light that's glowing that's coming from it. So that's how we'll know that it is an angler plot. Oh no! No, 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 no! Stop ruining our lives! Oh. Trying to collect plots. Away. 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 Away! Oh, there are so many. No. I wish I had the ability to shoot water at them. That'd be awesome. I was hoping that I'd be able to actually get some plorts out of this, but looks like these guys have come around and they've just killed all our slimes. Damn. That's unfortunate. Poor little guy. He's so scared. Look at him. Oh, man. Okay. Well, there goes all of that. <laughs> I'm glad that we ended up collecting a fair few angler slimes before we uh, had everything get completely obliterated by the tar. What's through here? I get a feeling we're starting to get to the outer... Oh no, we're, we're heading back, we're heading back. Oh. Can we go any further? I don't really know. Um, also, oh no, we, I was about to check to see if I was able to see what their favorite foods were, but we actually don't know that, unfortunately. Any, so these are the normal boss, no, no, not you, you. You are an angler phosphor. Eat it, please, please. No. Is it just me or does their face look very different to other slimes when it comes to eating? Yeah, let's click that one. There we go, cool. Any f so that's another one. Angler plots. Good. Well, that'll be helpful because that'll get us a fair bit of cash so that we can do things with it. Um, you over there. If you want some food, you can have some food. Please eat. There we go. Cool. Let's collect that one. All right, so we've got, t we've got seven now. That's good. Let's collect the pogo fruit there. Can't go anywhere there. I think we've sort of hit a point. I don't know what that point is. But we're going to head back. We're going to... Oh, there, there's the map. Yes, perfect. Excellent. How do we get up there? Okay, good timing for me to not go back. How do I get up there? Grab these cube berries. There we go. Cool. Okay, so... I'll activate that map as soon as I can figure out how the heck to get up there. Uh, how do we do this? Can we platform on trees? Yes, we can. These guys are not appreciating anything. How do we get up there? We might have to go around the other side, so I'm going to do that. Can we get around the other side from this way? I'll give it a try. No. Oh. Oh, that ends up going back the other way. Hmm. I need to figure out how to get up there. So once we've got up there, we can activate the map. Don't know if I need the jetpack for this or not. 
Can I use you as platforming? Can I use you guys for platforming? Is this, is this like a legit mechanic? I don't know if I can hop on them or not. <laughs> I don't think I can, no. Oh, you can. Oh, you can use it as a platform. All right, this is a strat. This is a strat. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it's probably a strat. It's just not a very good one. That's the better strat. Better strat is to actually use the platforming that the world has created for me already. Cool. Okay. So there's that one there. I don't know where the other one's going to be then. Now, let's not fall off the edge and die. Otherwise, we'll lose all of our progress. How do we... Do we have to go this way? Can we climb the trees? Yes, we can. <gasps> oh! Fly! I wish I... Oh, okay, bye. I wish I had the jetpack. That'd be so helpful. The jetpack's pretty overpowered as soon as you've got it. But, like, can't complain about that, right? How do we get up there? Can we platform using these things? Hmm. Not sure. Well, at least... Is it on the map? No, it's not on the map. That's a problem. Because I'm probably going to end up forgetting where it is. We climb onto this tree. Okay, yeah, I can. I can just... Okay, I'm not too sure. Um, what about this way? Well, one more attempt. One more attempt. One more attempt at getting up there. Okay, that was my one more attempt. All right, we're, we're going to figure this out at another time. But we're going to head back. Um, we're going to feed all of our slime. So we'll feed... The normal slimes, the pogo fruits, the sort of the pink and um, the pink cotton slimes, we'll feed them the pogo fruit. We'll go back into our phosphors and we'll feed them a whole bunch of cuberries. We'll find out how to set down the angler slimes and we'll figure out what we should combine with them for the most efficient resource farming. And we'll also sell all of our uh, angler plots. Hey, we've got more food. Perfect. Okay, good. Well, what we can do now. Um, hmm. All right, well, let's sell the angler plots first, because that'll free up an inventory space. How much are these worth? 37. That's all bad. That's not, that's not too bad. Cool. All right, that's enough for a farm. Perfect. Let's feed these guys a whole bunch of lettuce. I am really excited for being able to just make a lot of money in this game, because as soon as you start to get decent farming going on, you can really start to rake in the cash. Uh, Alright, so that can just chill there for the time being. I'm happy with that. Um, we will come back and we'll farm those plorts, whether it be through picking them up manually, or if we have enough spare change so that we can afford an auto plort collector. Because those things are incredibly helpful. That means that I won't have to then jump on in and start disrupting everything. Uh, so, high walls we can afford, but we want the... We want, we want the air net. The air net's going to be the big one. Now let's feed you... Cool. Oh, we can't do much with this. Kind of awkward. Um, because we can't... I can only collect so many of them. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do with this? Do we just go and dump all the... I'm just going to dump all the pogo fruit back in the pink one. We've already fed them a whole bunch of the lettuces, and I was intending to use the pogo fruits as spare food, just as a backup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck all the pogo fruit into the corral that has the little bunnies in it. And we'll chuck them in there. Because that'll feed any of the ones that haven't picked up any of the lettuce. And that'll free up the inventory space so that we can go back and forth. Um, and so that we can then use uh, that to... I suppose... We, we get more money from that. Um, and we can use the money to get the auto collector. Um, and we can set up high... Do, do we need high walls? We'll find that if we need high walls if they start to break the ceiling. Hello, this is getting dangerously close to the entrance. I don't want that. Uh, we want, okay. we want phosphor in here if possible. Little one, little one, eat it please. Good. Please eat it, he's right in front of you. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, come on, eat it, eat it. Oh god, they're all jumping in. They're all jumping in. No, 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 not yet, not yet. No, no, no. Okay, we want them to ideally hop in and then become... The Lagos. Someone eat it, please. Thank you. Someone eat it, please. There we go. We got there in the end. Okay, cool. And then feed you. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Let's collect all of these. Now we can upgrade 
one more over here. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. There we go. Cool. Nice. Uh, you in there. I know that they're going to try and escape, and that's fine. That happens. We just need the... We just need a roof on this thing. Once we've got a roof on this thing, we will be fine. Uh, oh. But I will set up a farm, though, because the farm is going to be very important. So we'll set up the farm. But just that. Chuck a Q-berry in there. And now we can start to properly farm these guys out. Because now I'm less worried that we're going to lose resources. Now it's just a matter of just chuck everything in there. And then just start farming away at it. Oh. Now we've got 12 of them. Let's just suck these all up. Phosphors. Phosphors everywhere. I have 20 now. So let's go back and just chuck those. Oh, keep you back in there. Okay, so we've got 8 of these. 20 of these. So we'll use the ringtail plots so that we can upgrade the normal phosphors to phosphor ringtail largos. And I still don't know what we're going to do with these anglers. I don't know what sort of environment they thrive in best, but we are going to try and find out. So these are worth these are worth 41, so let's, let's just cash in. Thankfully, the value hasn't really dropped, which is nice, but it will drop tomorrow. So we might as well capitalize on that as soon as we can. Um, I don't... Hmm. I guess my one concern is that our, our Q-berries aren't going to grow fast enough for us to, um, you know, farm these up at, like, max capacity. Uh, we'll go air nets, upgrade that one there, put these guys in here, and just because they are probably going to break these uh, ceilings, we are going to also upgrade to the high walls. We can now chuck you in there, we can chuck you in there, and now we have a bit of a collection. There like this. Cool. Um, we have a lot of other little phosphors, which I would prefer the Largos to be in there, but we'll, we'll still chuck the normal little ones in there too. Just so that we can then fuse some of them together. And if they start to break the walls, it means that we've got too many in there. Because it looks like we've got a lot in there at the moment, and I don't know how this is going to work. That's okay. So we won't put the Angler Slimes in here. We'll need to put the Angler Slimes out there somewhere, because there's no point in the Anglers being in here. They... They don't need to be in a dark place. Okay, let's chuck them down there. Okay. Cool. So we've got 254. I don't know if that's enough for a collector, but I might have enough for the collector after we have um, collected all the plots in that one out there, because I did chuck a whole heap of those lettuces. Uh, okay. Oh. Somehow you have managed to eat food and double up on that stuff. So let's collect these. I think we should have enough. Surely. Surely, right? Okay. Let's collect, collect. Like these ones. Can we like suck them out through? Wait. Wait. No, they still get stuck. Okay. I was wondering if they would have like changed it in this game so that you can then stand outside it and you can still farm the plots. But it looks like it is still the same. And it makes sense because it is an entity inside the wall. Oh, wow. They're only worth six now. Jeez. Yeah, it's an entity inside the wall. And we're trying to suck them out from the outside of the wall. So that's fair. Uh, port collector. How much? Port collector is 500. It'll be worth. It'll definitely be worth. Over here. Oh, wow. Look at that. 30. Awesome. Now let's just bring them all out. Bring all of these ones out as well. Oh, all right, let's go sell these. Da -da -dum. Boom. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Oh, and that also means that we're going to have an auto collector for the other one. Should we do that? Should we upgrade the... No, we, we, we really, while we have the time, we should really be upgrading our farm. So we'll upgrade the Qberry farm and then we'll call it a day. Um, still need to figure out what we want to do with the angler slimes, but that's okay. That could be a future me problem. What are we going to do? We're going to head back this way. I'm going to sell that one as well because it's an extra six. <laughs> not, not a lot of extra money, but look, I'll take it. I'll take anything I can get at this point, so I'm happy with that. Let's go this way towards the cave. I've got very low stamina. Um, into the cave. 
Hello! Look at them all! Okay, let's upgrade this. So, the sprinkler. Sprinkler ensures that your crops are always watered, making them grow twice as fast. So, we're gonna app we're gonna upgrade to that sprinkler. Uh, anything else we can do? No, not at the moment. That's okay. Well, we can then come back and we can see if we're gonna have enough cubberries. So, we'll just make sure that we're back, um, back home before midnight, because that's when the pricing changes. So, we'll collect some resources while we are out exploring uh, tomorrow. And then we will collect some more money, figure out what we want to do with these angler slimes, and continue to explore from there. So I think now would be a good time to end the episode off. So next time on Slime Rancher 3, we have plan. We have plan to continue to feed the guys over in the cave. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get a little container for our angler slimes, and we are going to continue to explore out here. I know that there is a big gordo out here somewhere up on this cliff um so we're gonna go and see if we're able to find out how to get up there so we've got a few things planned for the next episode so for now thank you all so much for joining me on this episode of slime rancher 2 and i will see all of you in the next video goodbye